to be thankful. We'll have that story in just a minute. First, here's a look at what's coming up. Mail carrier attacked by a pit bull. Well, tonight, she's a new mom. There's still some bittersweetness here, though, because as the Newsbeat's Marcella Lee tells us, the woman's injuries have kept her from holding her new baby boy in her arms. I can't believe he took so good. After what I've been through, he, he came out okay. For now, Joe Tordinesi does the cradling for his wife, Frankie. Frankie's arms are still intact. A pit bull nearly mangled her arms last month, and she hasn't been able to hold her newborn son. They put him on my chest once. I tried to breastfeed, but I can't do it. Five weeks ago, Frankie was delivering mail on Detroit's west side when a vicious pit bull attacked her. Frankie had to bite the dog to get him loose. She and her husband were worried about their unborn child. But on Saturday night, Frankie gave birth to little Neil Joseph Tordinesi. Now she wants to keep him healthy. My knees are hard and they're, they're not too... I'm afraid I'm going to scratch them, uh, cut them. It could be less than a day before Frankie gets to hold her son Neil for the very first time in her arms. Her casts are just about ready to come off. Hopefully today or tomorrow. That's my wish is to see her hold her baby pretty soon. You gotta take what God gives you and do the best. He sure gave us a, a bundle of joy. After all the stress and pain they've been through, the Tordinesi say they're just happy Neil is healthy. Marcella Lee, Newsbeat. It was an emotional and thrilling day for one woman as she embraced her baby for the first time. You'll remember Frankie Tortonesi. She's a mail carrier who was viciously attacked by a pit bull while she was pregnant. She gave birth to a healthy baby boy named Neil on Sunday, but was unable to hold the baby because of the casts on her arm from her injuries. But now, the casts are off. It's really, really happy. I'm happy. I finally got to feed me. Frankie's arms are still very weak, but her doctor says she's doing very well, and so is baby Neil. Well, that's a nice ending to that story, isn't nice it? Story. For many children.